hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today i wanted to show you guys a hobby that i have been taking up since the beginning of february and that is setting up sinking funds now if you don't know what a sinking fund is it's a strategic way to save money by setting aside a little bit each month so one of your sinking funds can be setting aside money to buy a car or going on vacation or you know buying christmas gifts although christmas is nowhere near soon um you can still set up a monthly savings kind of like to basically buy your christmas gifts in november or december whenever and i basically have my personal binder and i have my business binder over here and i've been using this pdf and this pdf i bought it from i think her name is pink budgets on youtube phenomenal i actually got into sinking funds because i saw her video and i wanted to support her so i bought her pdf so this is just my personal uh, categories and when we flip the page it's my business categories so we will be going through that today i also went to the bank earlier my bank only carries hundreds twenties fives and ones i don't know why they don't carry tens so that's why you guys don't see any tens there I know it's not really that fun but it's still money so this is my personal binder and i'm just gonna go through the different categories on it so the first one is monthly subs the next one is taxes next one is debt snowball or in other words credit card this one is investing spending money beauty clothing gifts slash christmas Dream car, education, dream house, giving, emergency fund, and that's it for my personal. And now for my business. There's monthly subs, taxes, inventory, ads, trademark, pop-up shop, website builder professional pictures and so i'm going to just add the money from this week first and then count everything together so i'm going to start with my personal and i'm just going to open the binder and i'm just going to take the envelopes out so the binder is not really in the way but i like everything like organized so i'm going to keep it in the same order so the first one it's an expense this is our monthly subscription so uh this is disney plus discovery plus that good stuff and i keep this inside of it to basically track how much i save when i save it so the date the amount i put in at that date and the balance at the end when i put that amount in so right now we have 30 dollars inside 20 25 30 and for this month we're gonna put 10 so two tens 20 30 40 dollars in our monthly subs and i'm just gonna update this after this video i can't really write on that right now so i'm just going to put that in there i'm going to just put 40 dollars don't make fun of my handwriting. I'm not in the best position to write. Um, and I'm just going to set this aside right here. Next is taxes. So in taxes, I'm going to put $30. So 20 and two fives. And in taxes right now, we should have $40 already saved up. 20 30 40 okay so now we're just going to count everything together 20 40 50 60 70 we have 70 dollars in our taxes envelope that snowball oh let me just update this in Zep Snowball, we're going to put 40. So 
So right now we should have $20 in there. And yes, we do have $20. So we're adding 40 to that 20. So 20, 40, 50, 60. Now in investing, I don't stuff, but I do track it. So I just transfer all the money to my Robinhood. And right now, I have transferred 30. For today, I added $50 to my Robinhood, making it $80 that I now have in my Robinhood. So that one, this envelope is the only envelope that will stay unstuffed because I don't want to just take out the money from the bank to just put it back into the bank and transfer it to my Robinhood. That's a little bit excessive, but I just wanted to track it and just show you guys. For spending money now, I will be putting in $20. So let's put this to the side. And we should have $40 in spending money. So 20, 40, 60. Now in beauty, we're going to, wait, no, this is wrong. I forgot to put the one for Robin Hood. Okay, for beauty, we're gonna stuff 20. So for right now, we should have $45 in beauty. So 20, 40, 45, and plus 20 making it 65, 20, 40, 60, 65. For clothing, I'm gonna put 20. So this is actually a new envelope that I started a couple days ago um, and I will be stuffing it for the first time. That's why this is blank, but I'll be putting 20 inside of clothing. slash Christmas I will be putting in ten dollars and this is another new envelope that I have not started to stuff yet so it's empty and I'm just going to put ten dollars in there for dream car I'm going to stuff a fifteen dollars so one two three Right now we should have 15 right inside of it. Five, 10, 15. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We now have $30 saved up for our dream car. For, oh sorry, let me just write this down. For education, I have 
fifteen dollars that I will be stuffing today, and education has fifteen. One, two, three. So we'll be stuffing fifteen in an envelope that has fifteen dollars already. One, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Dream House will also get $15 and it has currently $15 inside of this envelope. 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, Giving is the third and last envelope that I just started, so it has nothing inside of it currently, and I will be giving $10 to my given envelope today, like 10. Seal it up, put it to the side. And emergency fund will be getting twenty dollars today. Currently, it has ten dollars. So Five ten. So twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So this is literally how thick my personal sinking fund is. So we have monthly subs that now has $40, taxes that now has $70, debt snowball that now has $60, investing has $80, spending money has $60, beauty has $65, clothing has $20, gifts slash Christmas has 10 dream car has 30 education has 30 dream house has 30 giving has 10 and the emergency fund now has 30 dollars so i'm just gonna grab my business sinking fund binder and put away my personal i'm just gonna take all the folders out Put the binder to the side. So the first envelope we're gonna stuff is the monthly subscription. So right now the monthly subscription has $40. We're gonna put in $10. 10. We're gonna count this all together. So 20, 40, 45, and 50. For taxes, oh wait, one second. For taxes, I will be stuffing thirty dollars in here, and it already has forty dollars. So 
20, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars in my taxes envelope. In my inventory envelope, I have $50 already. So 20, 40, 45, 50, and I will be stuffing $75. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One ten, one twenty, one twenty five. Our inventory envelope now has one hundred twenty five dollars. Okay, my ads envelope has $20 and we will be stuffing $20 inside of here. Five, 10, 15, 20. So 20, 30, 40, my ad envelope now has a $40. In trademark, we will be stuffing thirty dollars. So twenty into five, and currently we have thirty-five dollars in here. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. So now it's called all together. Twenty, forty, fifty. 60, 65 inside the trademark envelope. In our pop up shop envelope, we will be stuffing $10 today, but we currently have $20 in here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So in all, we have thirty dollars in our pop-up shop envelope. Okay, that was ugly. In our website builder envelope, we have $20, but we'll be stuffing $10 in here today, making it $30. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 in our website builder envelope. In my professional picks envelope, I currently have $20, but today I will be adding $30.
20, 30, 40 should be all right. And last but not least, I will be stuffing my new business envelope and it currently has $15. So I will be adding 10 more to that. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 in our new business envelope. So that's it for my business binder. And this is how thick my business binder is. It's not as thick as my personal binder, but that's only because I have more envelopes in this one than this one. So last but not least, I'm going to add up how much I have in my personal sinking fund and how much I have in my business sinking fund and then add those two sinking funds together to find out the total amount that I've saved so far. So I'm gonna use my graphing calculator. I'm gonna do 40 plus 70 plus 60 plus 80 plus 60 plus 65 plus 20 plus 10 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 10 plus 30 so right now in my personal sinking fund i have 535 dollars saved up and in my business sinking fund i have 50 plus 70 plus 125 plus 40 plus 65 plus 30 plus 30 plus 50 plus 25 and that gives me $485 and that is a total of $1020 that's so good because before this method I did not know what saving was I honestly did so much shopping because I kept thinking to myself that I had that money in the bank, I had that money in the bank, but truly I did not, like, I do this now, so if something comes up, like an emergency, I now have money set aside for my emergency fund if I want to start a new business, I have that if I want to, you know, do an ad for my business, I can do that. There's so many things that I didn't think about before starting my sinking fund. And if you guys need help in like starting your sinking fund, I can totally help you guys. You guys can DM me um, on Instagram. I have my Instagram link down below. Or if you guys want a video as to how I set up my sinking fund, how much money I set aside from my paycheck, because this is not all of my money. I usually leave a buffer in just because I don't want to, you know, see negative when I sign into my bank account. So, yeah, if you guys want to see all of that, I can definitely make a video on that. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys all for watching. I can't wait to film another video like this because things like these get me so excited to save. And I hope you guys join me on my journey. And with that being said, please like this video if you guys liked what you guys saw. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.